Welcome back. Here we are. Media wave topic, and this one is definitely making waves in the media. Byron Allen versus Comcast. What is actually happening? I hear like a, a civil rights movement from 1866 is coming into play and all sorts of things. So well, let's dig into what's really happening here with Byron Allen and Comcast. Mm. Ooh, um, so yes, there's been a firestorm about all of this. And at this point, I just have a lot of questions still. Mm -hmm. um, after I read what our viewers are saying, um, I'm really concerned about how this is affecting viewership and somewhat dividing us. Mm -hmm. um, another question I would have is how does Mr. Allen plan to disperse mm -hmm. this $20 billion? Yes. And as I look at his programming, I'm questioning the programming that is there. I know he has the shows with the judges and all of that, and he's had great success. Mm -hmm. But you cannot deny the fact that Afro has been here for over 15 years, mm -hmm. and we have been uh, in talks with Comcast for many years. And so this is our truth. This is our story. So like I said, I'm just really concerned about the viewers. What are you ladies concerned mm -hmm. about? You know, even myself as a viewer, right, as a consumer, someone who watches media, it was conflicting for me. Just as you said, a lot of us, we've been here for years. Mm -hmm. And we finally last year got the opportunity to go nationwide. Mm -hmm. And one of the companies that allowed us to afford, you know, that opportunity is Comcast. And for right around the current corner, the lawsuit to come out mm -hmm. for all my friends on social media to be talking about it and I'm like you're talking about me right but at the same time this is something that we've been waiting for we've been working mm -hmm. so hard for it so it's a bit conflicting but I will say this I understand everyone's concern because mm -hmm. you don't want there to be a monopoly mm -hmm. of the industry mm -hmm. you want things to be fair yes mm -hmm. however like you said Sassandra, we have to if you're going to make yourself the face of the movement the mm -hmm. leader of the movement i think that it's fair for us to hold you accountable mm -hmm. and ask what are you going to do with those resources mm -hmm. and what have you done with them because he's a very blessed individual yes. mr byron allen right ever since he started in entertainment as a teenager his own mm -hmm. production company mm -hmm. we're yeah. talking about millions upon millions of dollars have come his way mm -hmm. what have you done with it how have you impacted our community mm -hmm. and then I asked myself a deeper question as a black woman in media would I have the opportunity to work for your production company mm -hmm. or would it have been easier for me with afro and I would have to say looking at the outside not doing all the details but I think it would be easier with afro well, look at where you are Exactly. Yeah. For me to be sitting where I am today, the route is much easier with Afro, mm -hmm. who has committed itself black content, black members, black owned, black owned, mm -hmm. financed by Bias a black for us, for us, mm -hmm. truly not taking away anything from the other side. But myself as a viewer as well and as a professional, if you go after this, what's the likelihood of more black professionals being mm -hmm. able to obtain more opportunities with you? Mm -hmm. That's my question. And Comcast. I would and like if to you would too. allow right. me to mm -hmm. say this as well, I don't know if a lot of people know, we might have gotten the contract with Comcast last year, but we've been talking to Comcast for over mm -hmm. five to seven years. Mm -hmm. This yeah. has been something mm -hmm. coming down the pipeline. Mm -hmm. So I just want our viewers to understand that we are happy and we think that there's a enough for everyone to go mm -hmm. around but we will defend the fact that we've been here for our viewers for a long time we appreciate their loyalty to mm -hmm. us and we want to make sure that we stay on and anybody else that has the opportunity to come into the circle of this major media um, is treated fairly yeah and that does not mean that because we say we are working with Comcast that we're against everything else that's going on but most certainly this is our truth mm -hmm. and we will not be led blindly yes I, I think you know this is such I had to fully understand it first you know because it's easy to jump sides and it's easy to look at this and look at that but when I started to look into the research a, a little bit more and a little bit thorough it just didn't make too much sense to mm -hmm. me because here it is it's Byron Allen and it's against Comcast but my question just like Sandy posed what are you doing with that money mm -hmm. where is that where is all of that going that 20 I billion think yeah and for me it's mm -hmm. irresponsible to conclude and in, include civil rights into this that's my biggest thing yeah if you're going to fight something fight for it but as a big corporation when you bring into civil rights I just feel like you're continuing to prostitute the black community for financial gain. Mm. We have gone through this for years. We've gone through this through white America. Now we're going through this on a different scale. Mm -hmm. It's opened a can of worm that necessarily didn't have to be 
open because Comcast literally and and not to defend you know either way, mm -hmm. but Comcast literally said it's not that they didn't want to do business with Byron Allen. The content he was bringing to the table doesn't have the viewership. He was bringing a lot of dog show. Okay, granted, a lot of a lot of other pet, things. Uh, pet TV. A lot of pet right. TV. Yeah. How much people in the black community watch pet TV shows? Let let's start there. You know what I mean? So behind the big business of it, yes, Comcast has their stuff that they have to do and they're trying to protect. And Byron Allen also. I just don't like the fact that you bring an entire community into this mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with this because you were never there for the black community. Oh. No black content, no black uh, organizations. Comcast <clears throat> has given to the Urban, Urban League. Comcast have given to Boys and Girls Club. I they have the consistently, NAACP. yes, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. have consistently Engaged done that. in the black community. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you have what? Over 10 different uh, stations right now that are black owned with Comcast. Mm -hmm. So how can you say that, that it was just because he was exactly. it was a racist move. But my right. question is, he did pose this in, in the whole argument. And so I, I do wonder about this. He was saying, OK, if Comcast did pick up the packages, what about the viewership with those packages? Because as we know, as we've talked about here, we're paid based upon how many people are watching. Mm -hmm. right. So, yes, Comcast says, I'll go ahead and pick up these black channels. But Byron Allen went a little bit more, as I think most of us would want a little bit more. Like, mm -hmm. how much more can you give us? OK, yes, you pick it up. But who's watching? Where's our paycheck coming from? I think that was a valid question. That, that I have no problem. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm not to cut you off. I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. Like I said, for me, when it comes in, is a problem that you brought the civil rights act right. into this. You opened up necessarily something that didn't have to be opened. Um, now you mm -hmm. put attention to this particular clause, well, it's gonna be the whole which black can be involved. exactly. Yeah. Yes, that's my problem. Right. That's my problem. Yeah. No, I mean, like Erica said, I think that's a very valid point mm -hmm. to say that with our viewership, because we also had Puff Daddy coming up. Yes. He did say that, okay, yes, I have a channel on Comcast. He's got Revolt. Revolt, mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm not getting the viewership. I'm not getting the help that I need. You know, and then I asked myself, I said, uh, when P. Diddy got into this entertainment industry, mm -hmm. did he fully understand what entertainment is all about? Because sometimes people think that you just come in an entertainment world and things are just going to blow up like everybody you know I don't want to take sides when it comes to this but at the end of the day I think that when it comes to Mr. Byron Island I have the same question that everybody has mm -hmm. what are you going to do with the money when it comes are you going to stand for black people are you going to use this money to actually make the black community go up or what is this for mm -hmm. those are the only questions I have right but, you I know, think if I it would have came from like a Tyler Perry or Ava DuVernay we would have felt a bit different. more comfortable because yes. we see we've seen their track record exactly. Exactly. It's like affirmative action. You know, you want something to be able to say everyone is included at this table. Right. Mm -hmm. But usually those who come through with affirmative action have a track record of mm -hmm. showing mm -hmm. I that am a person who, about diversity mm -hmm. and inclusivity. And I can guarantee you, like Jack Ma says, once you want a certain amount of money in society, it's no longer your money. It's mm -hmm. society's exactly. money. Exactly. And we hold you responsible for yes. how you spend that money. Mm -hmm. So we're open to talk. The dialogue, it's on. The, we need to talk about it. Communication and media mm -hmm. is so mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. But are you really our leader mm -hmm. and are you really the person to push forward this fight in the entertainment yeah. exactly yeah are in the entertainment you really the person realm. to do it and mm -hmm. like you said here we sit on afro mm -hmm. black owned mm -hmm. eve lavonga and his wife that have been fighting this for years we are sitting here now on comcast mm -hmm. so what does that say yeah inclusion mm. right We're and, and so many other things but in a timed piece yeah that's all we yeah got. Bye, Bye, everyone. Join the discussion on Comcast Xfinity 1623 at 830. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on our social media. Questioning the programming that is there. I know he has the shows with the judges and all of that. And he's had great success. Mm -hmm. But you cannot deny the fact that Afro has been here for over 15 years. Mm -hmm. And we have been uh, in talks with Comcast for many years. And so this is our truth. This is our story.